All right, we're going to look at what is called synthetic division of polynomials. It is a short form of long division, uh, which just focuses on the important part that you're looking for. So we're going to do this division here. We're going to do it both ways. We're going to do long division and we're going to do synthetic division and compare the two. So let's move that up there. Let's do our long division over here, and then we can do synthetic division over here and uh, look at the similarities and differences. When you do long division, you put your divisor over here. You write the polynomial you're starting out with here. x to the third plus 3x squared minus 11x plus 5. And we are hopefully good at this by now that you've worked with it enough. You look at those leading terms. How many times does that go into that? x into x cubed goes x squared times and then multiply back like that and get x to the third minus 3x squared. Now when you when you do that it looks like you have plus 3x squared minus 3x squared it looks like it's going to be nice and cancel but it isn't right because you're subtracting this minus this 0 3 take away negative 3 gives you 6x squared bring down our next term here, minus 11x, and then look back at what we have here, x into 6x squared goes plus 6x times, and multiply that back, 6x squared minus 18x, and subtract that, don't forget this is subtracting a negative, negative 11 minus negative 18 is plus 18 gives you 7x there bring that last term down and do the do the last part of this here x into 7x is plus 7 times multiply it back 7x and negative 21 subtract that you're subtracting that right so 5 minus negative 21 is plus 26. There's your remainder and your quotient up there. All right. Now let's uh, shrink this down and make some space. Now we can compare synthetic division. The thing that uh, is important here, the thing that matters after every step is these coefficients right here. What that subtracts to and what this subtracts to and what this subtracts to, right? And the important thing in the divisor is this number, because that's what creates this number every time, right? The first term cancels out every single time, so you don't even need to worry about that if you choose it, right? Now, synthetic division then sets it up a little differently here. What you do is you only focus on the coefficients of the terms and don't worry about what power of x it is as long as you have all the terms or all the powers represented so you put the x cubed down that's a one right this is a one here even though it's not written and you have a three and you have a negative eleven and you have a five those are your coefficients and then you only worry about this number out in front here I'm gonna put the x there for a second but really all you need to worry about is that negative three first number here basically gets brought down this number this number you bring down here all right because that's that's what's going to be the coefficient here that number that you bring down there well it it ends up being that number in front there this number right here and then what do we do with that then we multiply this back times each of those now the first term as I said doesn't matter because this is going to cancel out so the one that matters is this one what this multiplies by this now over here in our synthetic division what that is is what does this number times this give us alright so it's what is that number times that number and what we did is we wrote that right here that negative 3 right underneath the positive 3 so if we do that here what do those multiply to negative 3 we're going to put it right underneath that positive 3 that represents what we have over here that All right and then we subtract it and got this 6 here we do the same thing over there subtract and get a 6 and then what do we do with that 
We looked at how many times that went into there and wrote that number up above. And then we multiplied that back times both terms, but the one that mattered was this when we did the 6 times a negative 3 there. So this 6 times that is negative 18. And I'm writing it right underneath the negative 11 because those are the numbers that matter there. So we've got, let's take a second to see what we've got here. That is going to give us that 7, right? Sorry, that's 7 up there. And then the thing that mattered was that 7 times the negative 3. And multiply it back by, multiply it back to get the negative 21 here. That times that, negative 21. And then you subtract this and you get 26 here, your remainder. So what this is, is just focusing on the second coefficient that you get every time. The second thing in, in the term. Okay, so it's basically those numbers. And then you, the result is your, your quotient in the end and your remainder. Now the way this works, we were, you know, it was, you were writing the result below. The quotient ends up being below. This is the remainder. This is the quotient. All right, so our quotient, you just have to know what powers of x you're looking at here. If you're starting with a cubic, your quotient is going to be a quadratic degree 2. So that represents 1x squared plus 6x plus 7. Or, of course, you don't need to put the 1 there. And the remainder is 26. That's synthetic division and how, it's comp how it compares to long division. Right? It's just focusing on the parts that, that are important along the way, the coefficients. All right, we're going to do one more quick one here, which we'll set up down below. If we can. So we'll try a second one here. We'll do that one. x cubed minus 3x squared plus 20 divided by x plus 2. So to set this up, we'll just set it up directly with synthetic division. You need to put the coefficients of the polynomial you're starting with here. 1x to the third minus 3x squared. Now, there's no x term in here, but you still need to represent it in there. So you need to have a 0 because it's like plus 0x plus 20. So those are your four coefficients there, right? You're just leaving out the powers of x. You're not writing the x cubed, x squared, and so on. You're just writing the coefficients because that's all that you actually end up working with if you think about it. And then x plus 2 over here, but all you need to do is put the 2 because that's all that matters. So to work through this here, carry that first number down, multiply it back, write it here. Subtract, negative 3, take away 2 is minus 5 multiply back, write it down over here, subtract, 0 take away negative 10 is 10, multiply back, write it down, subtract, and look at that, you actually get a remainder of 0 there. All right, remainder of 0. The quotient is x squared minus 5x plus 10, and the remainder is 0 remainder is 0. When you get a re remainder of 0, that means that this divides nicely into this, no remainder. It means that this is a factor of this polynomial. That comes through when we write our check statement here, which we will do right now. In other words, that original polynomial is the divisor times the quotient plus that remainder. All right. If you uh, want to write this out then, this this statement, that original thing, x cubed minus 3x squared plus 20, that's got to be equal to that divisor that we had, x plus 2 times our quotient here, x squared minus 5x plus 10, plus the remainder, which is 0, which of course you don't even need, right? So this is what it means to be a factor. This one thing is equal to these two things multiplied together. Now you can check here to make sure that it works. All right, if we were going to do this, multiply that out, expand it, x cubed minus 5x squared plus 10x, and then the other three terms, plus 2x squared minus 10x plus 20, 
which leaves you with x cubed minus 3x squared. That's gone, and you have the 20 there. That's what we started with. All right, so it's always good to, number one, understand what's going on with that check statement and use it to actually check that you've done things right. All right, so that's synthetic division. A much quicker way to get to your quotient and your remainder when you're dividing polynomials. Now, maybe one thing to note here before we're done. While long division you could do with any polynomial divided by any other polynomial, as complicated as you want either one to be, synthetic division is only going to work when you're dividing by a binomial like that, where it's x plus some number. Okay, synthetic division is used as a quick thing there because you're only putting that last number. So if you had three terms here, or if you had a leading coefficient here, it's not going to work out so nicely. All right. So this is this is used only when you're dividing by this. But a lot of times for what we're doing with work with polynomials, that's the kind of uh, polynomial that we're dividing by, just a binomial where it's x plus or minus some number. All right. Practice using synthetic division. You'll save yourself a lot of time. That's it.